We are currently at this place in Muchido or Kanda Park called Wedding Superstore Supplies, I think it is, and it is massive. Let me show you. So it's two levels, upstairs, downstairs. So we just came from downstairs. It is massive. Oh my goodness. And there's still all this over here. Come on with me as I show you. We are officially nine days out from the wedding. This is just crazy. Like, I don't know how this has happened. I know where the time went, but we were almost here. So exciting. I had a little bit of like a nervous breakdown yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, like, is everything gonna be okay? What if it's not? What if, I don't know. It's just like a little nervous breakdown, but she's back and she's fine. And I have another package. So I don't think I have many more packages left to come, especially at nine days at <laughs> most. Let's get into this one. So this one's from Amazon. So first off, I'll start off with the tissue. So I've got a, quite a few packets of tissues. As you can see, I'm also just putting them on everyone's chairs at the ceremony. That way everyone has a pair throughout the night. It might not necessarily be because it's crying, but we are an outside venue as well. So just in case anyone gets hay fever and sneezes or whatever. So this way, it actually worked out to be really cheap on Amazon just to get like so many packets of these. Next up is, so I have a Polaroid camera and so does Gabby. So what I'm actually thinking for the guest book I would I showed you guys in the last video is just to, for everyone to take like a Polaroid photo of himself, stick it into the book and then from there they can just like write a little message or whatever. So I bought this box and it's got a hundred Polaroids. So I, I may use them more, honestly, who knows. Some people might want to take a little photo as well, but a hundred. And whatever doesn't get used, I will just take with me on the honeymoon. That way Mike and I can get some Polaroid photos on the honeymoon. Next thing I got is fairy lights for the hall, but these fairy lights are the waterfall ones. So these actually sit, these will actually be behind the bridal table, behind the bridal table with the sheer curtain in front of it, just to give back that romantic feel of you know the fairy lights but they're not in your face with the, but they still have like the sheer curtain above it as well so i thought something like that was really nice and sweet so the other thing i got as well so Paige and i have done up a scavenger hunt for each table so on the table will be this scavenger hunt and attached to it will be this camera so each table will have their own that way throughout the night that table is responsible for capturing everything on that scavenger hunt. That way you can just get some candid photos and then they'll be in film quality, which will just be so cute as well. So next thing I've got is these Chinese lanterns, which I will take one out and put one together. But I want to have these sitting in the trees in the courtyard area, aka also the reception area, to give a bit of touch for Michael's side of the history. He wasn't too phased if it did or it didn't, but I really wanted to honor it anyways. So it's got like little double-sided tape here that I I'll just stick it together but I won't do that to the actual wedding day so I'm guessing it goes something like this and it's got little things at the bottom here like little tassels and it'll go something like this today I am not working until way later this afternoon at the hair salon so today what I'm going to do is I have the dentist this morning just to get like my last filling in but then after that I have to go to the hall and just measure a few things measure the table so I can get the table cloth 
measure flooring, measure where I'm going to be putting my table, measure where I'm going to put everyone else's tables, as well as dance floor and all the other little side tables as well that I need. So just measuring all those little things today. And then tomorrow, mum's coming down, we're, going, we're doing our final hair appointment. I have to take my extensions as well, just to make sure they match. Paige is getting her hair done again. That way we're all done for the wedding. Hey guys, so right now we're out here, we're doing the rehearsal dinner for the wedding. I've got a bunch of us behind us, we're all ready to go. How exciting! So, yeah, this is the front of it. Next time you see this, it will be all fully done up, ready to go. How exciting! doing some wedding prep I'm just paying off all my final things ready for Friday and today is Sunday so we're five days out I think it is five which is crazy I'm just going through that getting it all sorted so today is Tuesday the 7th and the wedding's in three days and yesterday we looked at the weather and it's been looking great like absolutely perfect weather and then we looked at it yesterday and it was like 70% chance of rain. And then we looked at it today and now today is 80% chance of rain. And the ceremony itself is all outside. And even if we try to move it inside the hall, there's just no room to fit it. Because then you have to rearrange everything. And then there's like no waiting area for anyone to hang out. We're trying to do a plan B. And plan B is there's like a little chapel church like right next to the hall. So I've just sent them an email last night being like, is it free? How much is it? Because obviously that's not like in my budget because I've already paid for a haul and so I honestly don't know what to do. I'm a little stressed as I had a plan B for if it was like, you know, like a bit overcast, a little bit sprinkling. And that was just going to be like a marquee that I was just going to put up. But this is going to be like a bit more heavier rain. So I think even if I put the marquee up outside and, and like we can all stand underneath it, it's still like the ground would still be too wet as it's on like grass as well. So I don't think that's going to work. I think I need more of like an actual indoor, indoor situation going on. So I'm just waiting. I've never looked at my phone so much to see if and wait for an email and I feel like it's an eternity I'm like they're open it's been 10 minutes they've been open for 10 minutes like where is it why are you not answering but I can be patient I've got this I'll update you guys as well good morning it is currently Wednesday and the wedding is on Friday and it feels so real that I can actually do wedding stuff I'm not at work I don't have work for the next two days and it actually feels so good because normally I have work and I have to do like wedding stuff around it and it doesn't feel as good because my focus isn't 100% on wedding but then again it's also not 100% on work and I don't want to like slack but today I'm going on my way right now to pick up mum it is currently like 6 15 a.m. and I'm just going up to get my mum so that she can come on down and then we're going to go pick up my dress Thank you Ebony again for the brand new lashes I feel so much better now that they're back What a day So it was crazy today I don't know where to start So I go up already Pick up my mum from a kabucha Which I had already filled you guys in I was supposed to do my dress fitting slash pickup at 9 o'clock but when I went to go get the trailer it just wasn't connecting I was like oh I'm probably doing it wrong I don't know what I'm doing turns out like my car had something wrong with it to the point where like I couldn't actually get the lights to work so then I had to call my dad which luckily he only worked like as 30 seconds up the road then he had to fix it and it ended up taking us like an hour and a half and I'm so thankful that I got it to work. So then that just like pushed my whole day back, back and back. So then everything just was not going to plan. So because we're moving the wedding inside for the ceremony, 
into a chapel it means that I didn't really have decorations for that so I was like I don't know what to do like I can't do the same ones because my original ones were going into the ground and you can't put it into the ground in the chapel so I was like oh I don't know what to do and then we just gave up and went home from the shops keeping in mind today is Wednesday the wedding is Friday and I was just getting frustrated and I was getting upset and I was like I don't know what to do and then I had to go pick up the dogs anyways from their haircut and then I was meant to go get my teeth done but it just wasn't we got stuck in tra traffic and I just couldn't get there and nothing was working the plan but then tonight mum and I we built some of the boxes we organized everything everything's just boxes ready to go tomorrow we've got a big day like a really big day I have a massive lift up list that we have to go through we've got I've got lots of printing to do I've got pick up a lot of the hired stuff tomorrow as well like a lot of it honestly it's crazy and it's intense in the movies the whole day before the wedding is so chill but not this wedding i think it's just because like i've worked so much instead of actually being able to do prep and a bit of my fault but also what can you do like if you need money you have to work and that made it a bit hard maybe not be able to enjoy it as probably as much as i wanted to enjoy it i'm gonna go to sleep now i think it's like almost 9 30 or it is 9 30. <laughs>